to clean. I absolutely detest it. But this is my look for today. This is from Dish. I actually just did. I filmed two videos this morning because I wanted to wake up early and just get it out of the way so I have content. And then I'm pairing it with this black blazer from Farfetch. I got paint all over it from that place we went to see. I'm so happy we didn't end up picking that apartment because I would have been so upset. I did not like it. I mean, it was okay. Yeah, I hated it. <laughs> I'm not gonna make the mistake we made last time by not bringing bags. So there's like two tote bags in here just in case I buy stuff. And then I'm meeting my new friend Sandra for like late lunch, early dinner tonight. We were supposed to do brunch yesterday, but she couldn't do yesterday. It actually worked out because I stayed all day yesterday and worked, so it worked out for me. And then now we're gonna do a late lunch, um, early dinner tonight, like on four o'clock. So that's like a late lunch. I have some errands to run. I have to go to Zara home to get some sheets and get some stuff like that. I want to get some more pillows so you know my bed can be a little bit more comfortable and things. And I am taking my relief gauche with me. These flats to walk around. I was gonna wear sneakers, but I was just like, eh. I prefer flats because they look like chic. And I'm wearing these shorts from Choosy. I got them last year when they had their simple sale in Soho like everything was like 10 bucks so i got these shorts because they're kind of like the zimmerman knockoff shorts and then i have my hair in this little low bun and i'm wearing my bolita um earrings that i got from the antique market last sunday so hopefully today i can find something nice so today the goal is to find like the cute pearl or like white clutch because from the dress that I tried on today from Dish, I need a white clutch like ASPCA, like ASAP. So I'm gonna go now and then I will, you know, show you around when we get to the antique market. All right, guys, we made it. That was quick, actually. That was like 10 minutes, like barely. So the goal today is to get a vase for my flowers in the bedroom. And then hopefully I can find like um what else I'm looking for? Like a makeup table and stuff like that. Or one of those kind of like little candle holders. Like the single ones. We've got some plates over here. Such cute stuff. I don't even know what I'm looking for in terms of like a vase. I don't know if I want something white or clear or ornate. But I'm starting where we got that. Ooh. I need a lamp guys and this one is a good contender actually this looks really good it will go with like my theme my vibes which is kind of like a little bit vintagey oh they have more chair offices oh my god we got, I think we're getting this mirror we must this is it this is the mirror OMG yeah I want this mirror let me see it has paint over it in a little bit but i'm gonna see how much this is like wow this is it and they've got more stuff over there i want this end table this could be nice for my makeup table over here will marble marble no marble, marble right guys i really like this for my makeup table i think i may get it to kind of like put my stuff to do my makeup and stuff guys i'm back to Sicaro over here <laughs> Grazie. Guess what? I was literally on Majuri's website yesterday looking at the same earrings, which I will show you when I get home. And they're like the first thing I saw when I got here. It's so funny when you're looking for something, you know, all of a sudden you just find it. I was gonna order it for like 95 bucks, and here we are buying two of them. Okay, guys, NT King wasn't as successful as I would have hoped. But I did get my vase and I also got this cute little pearl bag plus two earrings. So um, that's successful to me. Now I was gonna go home but I decided that I'm gonna stop at Zara to actually pick up some stuff for the house. Uh, because I need, uh, I need sheets. Do I need sheets? Yeah, I need sheets. Because right now I'm sleeping on the mattress protector. So I need some sheets. I don't even think I want to get the fitted ones. I just want to get the regular sheets. That's the plan. And then also I need to find 
cups for water but I really really need to find a makeup table because not having somewhere to put my makeup to do it is just so annoying but at least I have my bedside table so that works for now um, I guess I'll show you when I get to when I get home and then I'm meeting my friend at like 4 o'clock so I have to go home and change a little bit and get more presentable I am back now and I will be changing and I need to go find some flowers turned out half of my roses are just like they just fell because I left them without water for so long I guess they got pissed and now they're taking it out on me oh let me show you what I got so I got this vase from the antique market how much did I pay for this like 300 pesos or something um it's not the one that I want yet but I just needed somewhere to put those flowers and turns out they're like uh, they were already upset with me and then and then the cutest thing that I got it's actually this little bag I've just been finding like <laughs> it's supposed to be going for like stuff for the house but I've just been finding a lot of like cute little bags and this one is just the cutest um again as soon as i tried on that dress from from dish i knew i wanted like a nice little clutch to kind of like go with it when i wear it and this one seems to fit the bill this i paid 250 pesos now let me show you the earrings the earrings are just to die for how cute is this i don't think this is going to be able to hold my phone but i don't care i can hold my phone in my hand as long as it has my keys and wallet and lipstick that's you know that's what i need it for earrings are like really really cute like i said i was just on Majuri last night ready to order these and then of course i got there first thing that i saw literally the first thing that i saw were those like how sticking cute they're kind of like the dome earrings and they're like in the perfect size and everything. I'm just like, wow. It's like sometimes when you put something out there, like God is just like, hey, here it is. But, oh, so cute. So many goodies. Now I don't know if I should keep these on, if I should keep the bolitas on, or if I should actually wear the new ones. Change. This is one of my favorite house in the block. This is so pretty and i'm wearing my massimo duty blazer i feel like this blazer because it's just like a grandpa chic blazer like it needs like a really nice feminine silhouette to make it work in this case i'm wearing the short dress i could have gone for something a little bit more feminine but i feel like this one works and i decided to go with the green bag and stuff like that and the print on my shoes is kind of like a baroque print baroque and it kind of like goes with the green i actually am loving this blazer i'm so happy that i got it now at first i was just like mm, i'm not really sure but now i'm like yeah i'm sure it worked out perfectly so I'm meeting my girl sandra she said she was gonna show me around so i really love see. the contrast of this blazer against white can't get over it but i'm already here <laughs> This place is literally right on the corner. Um, and I'm sporting my new earrings. I am obsessed with them. They're so cute. And I'm just waiting for my friend. I'm making so many new friends. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, I actually have a, <laughs> a date on Wednesday. <laughs> I don't know if I should tell you guys. I don't really delve into my private life, but. Guess who's here? I am here with introduce yourself, Sandra. Oh! All right, guys. First part is here, and it looks so good. So just gonna like mix it up with all the sauces and stuff. Put the tortillas are in here. Let's go ham, guys. Look at the ribeye taco. This looks insane. We've got asparagus, bell pepper, sprinkled Himalayan salt. We've got the guac on the side over here. Picanha taco is here. 
Gua situation and the Himalayan salt and the pasta pepper. Mm, can't wait, you guys. Pork belly is in town. And you get so much meat. I feel like in the US, you'll get like one little piece. <laughs> and that's right. it. That's the price. Right? Everything is so delish. Oh my god. Oh my guys, this is the beer. You must try this. I don't even like beer, but this is really delish. So, you know, you can count on me. If you don't like it, then send me the bill. Kokoyaki. As you can see, seems to be the spot over here. Everyone is lined up. And you make me melt. And they have this kind of like cute little waffles. It looks like a fish. And then I got the vegan. Typically, I don't do vegan anything, but I thought, why not? This is a fresa, strawberry flavor. And then I added some mazapan candy thing over it. I got some of that candy and I really, really liked it. So I thought I would add some. It's really cute. As you can see, there's a line over here. It seems to be super popular and busy. Guess what? We stumbled upon this concert happening here. I heard this is the last act celebrating independence. Alright, guys, this is the front of the park. So, this is called Baque, uh, Mexico, Colonia de Candesa. It's a beautiful park. It has beautiful architecture in the back, but they're having the concert over here. It's really, really beautiful and nice. I really, really love all the... I think it's all like bougainvilleas on like either side of the park, which is really, really cute. But yeah, it's been a beautiful, wonderful afternoon. Now into evening now. Yeah. It's such a vibe like honestly though now I see why everyone wants to move here <laughs> when they come to Mexico City I mean how could you not like you see this vibe over here like this is it the young and the hip this is all kind of like all right guys this is a Churia El Moro Thursday 1935 this seems to be the spot for the troubles as you can see there's like a big line over here and we've got since 1935 good morning happy Monday all right I have gotten ready it's what time is it here it's 9 40 which is good timing for me to get ready because I have so many errands to run today. Um, I've turned into a morning person again, which I absolutely love. Like, there's something when you wake up so early in the morning, you get so much done. So, I've been waking up around like six ish. So, I wake up like on five and then I go back to sleep for like an hour, another hour. And then I try to wake up like, you know, 6.30ish, make my coffee, get ready, you know, go on the balcony for like 5-10 minutes, have my coffee and stuff like that. And then I'll just like shower around like 8 o'clock and get ready. But we're not talking about that. And I am wearing on my lip today, so many of those makeup looks are coming guys because so many of you have been asking. I love that you guys ask for the makeups just so you can criticize it. So <laughs> I'm gonna block all of you. <laughs> but on my lip today, I've got the Merit that uh, tinted lip oil. This stuff is oh my goodness, it's so comfortable on the lip. This is Cara Cara, which is like a soft orange. It's just so beautiful, and I feel like it goes really, really nicely with my blush. It's just really nice. And then my new earrings, which you can actually find on my jewelry. I'm going to link it below. I actually got these at the antique market yesterday um, when I almost ordered them at the majority like the night before. So I'm going to link them below. My majority link is already below. So all you have to do is search dome. Is it the dome necklace? Yeah, the necklace earrings. I, I believe these are the dome earrings. They have the croissant ones, which I actually got something similar also from the from the market this is kind of like the croissant thing um i just wish this one wasn't like 
clip-ons because I love this so much but it's just so hard on the ears I'm gonna find a solution for this but this one isn't so this one is just so much more comfortable and it's so beautiful but enough about that part of my morning routine and since you lots love to complain about my hair like stretching up my hairstyle um like I told you guys already, I am not in the business of switching hairstyle. I do not like to do hair. I absolutely despise it. The most I will do is put some curls in my hair. That's the most you're going to get. If you're looking for someone who's switching up her hair all the time, I am not for you. And I think the best thing about being a classic girl and having a classic style is having your hair look classic. Like, you don't have to change it because, you know... It's classic, okay? I'm not gonna come here and show up with a little bob, show up the next way with a little blonde wig. Like, I am not that girl. I am that girl where as long as my hair is clean and nice, I am ready. I do not like to spend time on hair. I think, I believe it's a waste of time. Um, I don't know, for, for me personally, I think it's a waste of time. I'm not gonna spend two hours doing my hair like the most i will do is 30 minutes that's all you're gonna get but t3 has blessed me with some new tools so perhaps i will make an effort and try to like put some curls in my hair and maybe try to straighten it or do something like that it's really hard to do that here because it kind of like rains every evening so even if i try like you know i straighten this hair like two weeks ago or last week and then look at this it's just like i just I just can't be bothered can't be bothered but I have been on the market for some new tools because I had gotten rid of whatever I used to have and I actually bought my t3 which I actually got a curling wand not a wand like a curling iron last year and um, they sent me some new tools which I'm super excited because I need a hair dryer so badly and they sent me their compact air dryer this would be perfect for traveling not only is perfect for traveling i absolutely love their packaging the rose gold and the white like i just feel like most of those are just like kind of like so ugly it's really fine it's really nice to find a brand that not only gives you good quality but also it just look good so they have this t3 iron air technology three heat settings two speed settings lock-in cool shot which is pretty cool um so i cannot wait to use this like this looks so incredible so perhaps i will be using this one quite soon i'm gonna take this with me on my you know trip because i'm going on a trip next friday it's a really 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 big one um biggest trip of my <laughs> career so far so i'm super super excited about that one and yeah i can't wait to tell you all about it but it's gonna be after it happens when i come back but i will be vlogging almost every little bit of the process I i'm gonna be vlogging so that's all you need to know but i'm very excited about that and then of course when i come back i have so many other trips that i'm going to be taking throughout mexico which i'm so excited about um so the week that i come back i may be going to oaxaca with my um my new friend it's her birthday so she wants to go to oaxaca i mean it's on my list anyway so we'll see we'll we'll see about that and i also received their world trio um styling wand with three interchangeable barrels just pretty cool so the curling wand is what i'm going to be using today i am going to make an effort and actually put some curls in my hair <laughs> which i do not like to do guys when i tell you i hate doing hair i absolutely hate it and then also how, how compact is this for like traveling i feel like you can even keep it in the box i do think it comes with like something to carry it because my other one did but it just gives you that you know that nice kind of like 1950s kind of like volume and then it comes with a little packet with all the instructions and this is what it looks like um over here actually it's not is it three yes yeah, three and one so you got the big one you got the one and then you got the other one over here again packaging is everything it comes with a glove obviously because for the curling wand you must use a glove 
if you don't you're gonna burn yourself it happens to me all the time so this is so cool actually it comes with the glove and then it comes with the the little bag like little dust bag to actually take it with you oh if you're traveling okay this is super cute very very excited to use this and then i also got their detangling duo actually when i first took this out i felt the brushes the bristles it was so soft and i was just like oh that's not gonna work this is way too soft i typically like the hard ones but oh my god this is just so freaking nice i've been needing a softer one because wow i did not know what i was missing by not getting the softer one the harder ones are not always you know the best <laughs> love this and then you have the comb which is so nice for when you're actually like curling your hair you could actually section it off and then you could do that okay i'm gonna try i'm, go I'm gonna actually try but i don't enjoy this I'm okay guys i'm trying like i said th this is such a waste of my time and I don't know if you guys know, I actually do not like my hair curly at all. I prefer my wig to be straight. I'm like, that's the whole point of me wearing it. If I wanted to wear curly hair, I would just wear my natural hair. Okay, not bad. This is actually looking nice. It gives a little bit of volume. But the thing is, I'm like, do I really want to spend 30 minutes like curling my hair just to brush it off? Like, I don't know. <laughs> guys this is what you get now i feel like i need a like a fan to kind of like blow it out it definitely added some volume which i'm not mad about actually quite like the vol the volume but don't expect me to do this every day like i don't know like it definitely adds some volume but i just don't feel like it was that big of a difference i don't know maybe it is maybe maybe um when i'm watching this this vlog i kind of like see like the difference okay guys i have something super exciting to show you guess what has landed on earth a new alien goddess by muggler you guys know i love muggler fragrances and they were so kind enough to send this one to me they've chosen me to be one of the messengers to actually tell you about the new alien goddess like you know we should try to create something extraordinary together and i really really love their writing it's so clever it says this object is an humo unidentified muggler object sent to you by the alien goddess like so clever um open it and create the extraordinary and how cool is this like this is so cool and it comes in this like super fancy kind of like golden packaging it's kind of like a poly miller but they just make it so fancy because you have the muggler engraved in there and of course gold instantly just kind of like fancy everything up this one says it has a burst a burst of italian bergamot essence unexpected splash of coconut it also has the central and feminine combination of jasmine grenfell lime and heliotrope and a trail of madagascar bourbon vanilla i love that note you guys know vanilla is my favorite note for literally every fragrance that i wear so i love that it has a trail of that in there i just cannot wait to smell it and see what it smells like um by the vibrant and woody intensity of cashman hmm. the result a mystical intense fragrance that is out of this world so i guess this is going to be transporting me out of this world so let's see they've actually picked out like a store for me somewhere which i have my store certificate where i can actually locate it and see where it is um but you have this cool thing what was the last one I don't remember what I got from the last one, but this is so cool. It's like like a cool little ball that I can use as the core. And then of course we have the alien goddess. And the writing is just, you know, it's just like a, what an alien. Oh my God. Oh, this is like the perfect kind of like first date fragrance wow 
wow if you want to feel like a goddess like this is it oh my god this smells incredible what i really love about this packaging you can actually sit it down because all the other fragrances you can't because it's like in the shape of a star they can't sit up straight <laughs> so that's a problem for me but this one you can actually it could actually sit oh my goodness this one smells incredible guys oh my god my god okay this is one of the best one i truly love the red one the blue one is very unique um that one it's kind of like an acquired taste like you have to have like that very specific scent that you like to like the blue one i don't mind it but i love love the red one because it's really sweet it's like perfect to wear like in a really really nice kind of like spring morning and this one i feel like they've been needing something like that in their repertoire and um this one is perfect for like a beautiful date night like this uh, this is something that i would wear like and it will make you feel like a goddess like wow this smells incredible oh i can't wait to spritz myself all over once i actually put on my outfit for today so if you already love more girl fragrance i highly highly recommend you check this one out and if you are on the market for a really kind of like sexy central um kind of like i would say this is more like of a night fragrance because it's very rootsy it's central it's sexy but me personally i wear this kind of fragrance on a daily basis i don't really care if it's for night or daytime i, I just you know wear them guys, like, i'm whenever. so excited to tell you about um to show you these new products you guys know i love evlom i have featured them in my channel so many times where you see me use they have this called this thing called dinospot i don't know if i bought it i think it's in my skincare somewhere but it's like an instant like if you have like a pimple you put it over the spot and then you literally wake up it's kind of like it's gone um it makes it go away faster so if you're like in an emergency state where these spots are just like coming in your face i highly highly recommend um you try their dinosaur spot it's actually quite good and then their most famous thing is their cleanser um this one has like a super earthy it feels kind of like using some kind of like a balmy green tea to remove your makeup but what i love about this it comes with the muslin cloth um which i highly highly recommend when you're removing your makeup um you guys know i triple quadruple cleanse like before i go to bed i have to make sure like every trace of makeup is removed from my skin and one thing you should not be using anymore are makeup remover pads they're actually not good at removing your makeup they actually send the makeup deep into your pores causing you to break out so if you're using makeup remover um wipes just stop immediately like use like an oily like cleanser or like a balmy i prefer the balmy because it's kind of like making love to your face it's like giving your face a massage at the same time which is what i really really love about using like um like a balmy cleanser to remove your makeup and this one is kind of like a five in one that's pretty cool i love when like a product has like multiple uses um you don't just use it for one thing it actually you know does like multiple things so this one is five in one this one cleanses hydrates tones exfoliates and remove all traces of makeup and of course use it in conjunction with the muslin pads so this i kind of like use first and then i go with the muslin cloth to kind of like wipe my face and kind of like remove especially like around the eye area like on those corners sometimes i used to find that uh, i used to get out of the shower and then i would look over here there will still be some like um um stubborn concealer left so since then i've been using like a cloth um like i use my rag like the same rag that i wash my body with sometimes i just use the same but it will be better to just have like something separate just for your face um so what i do is after using a the cleansing balm i would go to remove like anything i'll wipe my under eye to make sure there's nothing left and also your lipstick there's one thing that i find there's always kind of like some lipstick stuck like in the corner of your lip or like the lines of your lip they're like really stubborn they kind of like stick there and by just like you know like having your hands over it it's not enough so you need like a cloth like a rag or something to kind of like remove that extra stuff and have your skin you know to be like the cleanest thing ever. so like i said this is one of their like hero products most popular everyone always rave about this one 
um i must say this is not my favorite cleansing balm but this is one of my favorites so this is on the top i'm actually writing a blog post about my favorite cleansing balms to kind of like remove my makeup so do check out that and i don't know maybe i should do like a video about it i'm not sure yet but we will see but this is one of their hero products like i said like everyone wears about this really really good you know Eve Lum, it's just like they're like one of the most kind of like prestigious skincare brands out there if you don't know about them you should actually get to know them because they are pretty amazing so that's about that so this is one of the products that i am familiar with i also have their rescue mask which i like but what i'm really really excited about is a drum roll so you guys have been giving me so many compliments about my skin how it's been glowing how it's been so clear so let me show you my little secret over the last couple of months that's kind of like a new thing that i started doing was actually introducing those peel pads i was using the one by dr dennis gross and also i was using the one from m61 um skincare from blue mercury i'm gonna leave my link below if you guys want to check it out so um i don't know which one i like more i think i like the m61 better because it's one pad as opposed to the dr dennis goes that one you, it's two pads so you use one first and then you wait a minute and then you use a second one so i prefer the m61 because i'm lazy so if i could do like two step in one that's what i will pick but I still like the Dr. Dennis Ghost nonetheless, but I would say the M61 is my favorite. Another one that I absolutely love, it's Lucerne. I think I've talked to you guys about Lucerne. It's like a Switzerland brand that I got introduced to over the last couple of months. They reached out to me and sent me some products, which I think I shared with you guys. Um, unfortunately, what happened? The, the thing broke, so it fell so all my pads kind of like just like broke which i was like so so upset i think i actually cried because those were some of the best peeling pads that i've ever used i think i would actually i think i'm gonna place an order i'm gonna maybe i'll reach out to them and see if they could send me another part of those pads but i would say the number one well i haven't used this yet so wait until i use these and then you get when i can talk to you guys and then let you know which one is the best but if you have the money and you want to invest in some really good peeling pads try the lucerne ones it's like like i said it's a swiss brand you know the swiss when it comes to like skincare perfume the swiss got it going on like they know what they're doing um it's one of my favorite favorite brand that i have discovered a lot over the last couple of months they have this moisturizer that i am obsessed with they also have this kind of like mask it's oh, incredible like everything um I also think I had like a toner from them. I think that one broke too. I don't remember. But um, I cannot wait to try those peel pads again. If you have been wondering why my skin has been glowing and so clear, I must tell you. I mean, I do take care of my skin. It's like my number one priority um, because I, I hate having bad skin. So, you know, you have to make it your priority to um, take care of it. So peeling pads this one has all the good acids aha pha bha which are really really great for kind of like um resurface the skin um kind of like instantly exfoliate and also these pads are like 100 percent biodegradable which is like really cool so you don't feel like you're just kind of like contributing to all the bad stuff that's happening in the planet so like i said if you're on the market for some really cool peeling pads try these i mean i haven't tried these yet but i already know they're good because Eve Lum, it's such a reputable brand i will try anything with my eyes closed from them so i really really love them the next product that i am actually very excited to try from them is the toner right now i'm using the mandelic acid toner from youth to the people and oh my goodness that toner is so incredible it's like in a green bottle it's so freaking good that's another thing that really really like give your skin a really nice complexion and it will make you glowy it's having a good toner that has all the good acids so if you can find a toner that has all those good acids like ha bha like you can guarantee like you are going to be glowing like so glowing so this is their rescue toner again love their packaging their packaging is just like to die for it's just classic simple beautiful super elegant love it so this is what the toner looks like 
if you can see again this is supposed to rescue your your face you can use cotton pads for these but i have this reusable ones from youth to the people they also come with this kind of like net bag which you, once they dirty you can actually put them in this and throw them in the washer and then you know you get them like brand new so it's really cool to use the reusable ones i do have the ones that are like throw away um also for those days but i would say try to stick to like the reusable ones so much better for our planet and things like that so rescue toner helps transform skin that is stressed and congested so if your skin is super stressed and congested because i know right now it's like a super stressy time you know, going back to school for some and some of you are changing careers and everything and your skin is probably taking a beating and you probably kind of like you know stress your skin is congested and stuff like that so i would say if you're in the market for a toner try this one because it's going you know it's there to rescue your skin i love that and the next one it's a daily protection spf 50 you guys know i don't really mess with spf i just don't believe the sun is bad for me the sun i think it's super healthy for you again if you don't believe in that you don't have to let me know you can just like stick to your belief i know what i believe in i listen to my intuition like i have common sense like i don't need like the media or doctors to brainwash me into thinking that the thing that gives us life is bad for you like we're supposed to just like put something to kind of like no like absolutely not again if you are a spf freak then you can try this one because it has spf 50 in there but this is a product that I will not be using. Um, like I said, I am always honest with you guys. I always tell you how I feel about things. So, yeah. So, if you love SPF, then try this. But for me personally, it's not something that I'll be using. Okay, guys. Let me show you this. I think I've showed this to you before. But I wanted to show it to you again. My favorite uh, mineral toothpaste. This actually, I didn't know until like the girl that recommended it to me. I think her name is natural something here on instagram and she gives like the best information about um kind of like natural cleaning products toothpaste and a lot of like good stuff and this is the one actually when i was going to guanajuato when i was checking in they actually threw that toothpaste i almost cried actually they threw it out and I'm just like, I never have any issue with like taking my toothpaste in my bag before because I always carry like a tube of toothpaste in my bag. So when I get, you know, once I land, so I can just like go to the bathroom and brush my teeth because it makes me feel good to have like, you know, to be fresh as soon as I get off the plane. You know, the first thing I do, go to the bathroom, brush my teeth and just be nice. So she threw it out. I almost cried because I was just like, <laughs> I don't think they, you know ship to mexico and stuff like that so and then and then i ordered two and then sent it to like you know florida and then when i was in you know florida last week so i picked it up so i ordered two more so now we're good i will never make that mistake of putting my good toothpaste in my bag ever again so i will put like something that i don't care for but my good ones i'm always gonna put them in my check bag from now on i learned i learned my lesson again this never happened to me before i've always been able to always take my toothpaste with me i don't know it must be like a mexico thing or something but whatever it's i mean that's a lesson for you so if you have some good toothpaste do not keep it in your bag to check in um i mean i will say put it in your check down check luggage so that way it doesn't get thrown out because you are going to be really sad so i really really love this one what, what's good about this one it actually gives you like a brighter smell especially if you feel like myself you drink a lot of like coffee and kind of like mineral water like this one kind of like stains your teeth quite a lot over the last year my teeth has stained quite a bit because i was drinking a lot of wine i have never seen stain like that ever uh in my life i mean i'm like been a coffee drinker since i was like two days old but coffee never kind of like stained my teeth the way wine did so i actually need to go get like a, a cleaning and have them like whiten a little bit i'm gonna look for a dentist soon in mexico city and go get that uh, and get my teeth clean and everything but until then this is a really good natural mineral toothpaste um a toothpaste is safe enough to eat but don't do it because that's weird um i really really like this one this is one of my favorite brand of toothpaste i love this one especially at night because you don't have to rinse your teeth you actually just like keep it 
you know after you clean your teeth and it's completely fine so I do find that it does like it visibly like within a couple of minutes of you brushing your teeth you can actually see the difference so I really really love this one for nighttime and then in the morning I use David's um, and I discover a new one when I was in Miami I don't know where it is I think it's Dr. Sheffield or something like that it was really 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 a really good one too so I'm gonna open this one to put in the bathroom so this is going to be my night toothpaste and then I have my morning one that I like so I really really love this one um again I think that's it for now guys I'm actually about to go out now run a million errands I actually have to make a note of everything that I need everything that I need to do so that way I don't forget because I tend to forget and of course I'm gonna link this below my dress from Hill House um, you guys know those Hill House dresses are like my favorite for like as my house dress I do wear them out as well um, if I really feel like it I think I may actually just pop a blazer over this and all of a sudden I look put together I really love this this is so girly and cute but I'm gonna link this below if you guys are interested if you're looking for like the perfect house dress I cannot recommend these enough they're just like so comfortable to just like pop on hey guys it's over an hour later and I am finally ready to get out and also grab some lunch because I am starving I am back to my fasting no breakfast just you know the normal coffee and today I'm wearing this long J. Crew white dress and then I'm popping over this blazer because this is such like a grandpa blazer so it requires like a really nice feminine silhouette for this so yeah so this dress is super old again it's long it's um it's an ankle length and i'm wearing my rothies um because they're like you know super comfortable it's time to go on these errands i'm putting on my jewelry putting my favorite bangle and then i'm about to change the battery on here i was thinking of even bringing my laptop just in case hey you know because I am taking my um, my YSL bag, so so I need to write a list actually. So maybe like in the Uber, I'll write the list of what I need to buy, so that way I stay on track. I know what I'm getting um, and stuff like that. Hey guys, we're not at the cafe. I'm here all the time. This turned out to be one of my favorite spots. As absolutely love you know breakfast lunch then i'm gonna go for a pizza today because i'm in the mood for a pizza i'm gonna have some juice a pizza and then i am off to run the million errands that i have to run today okay guys the light is crazy but can you explain to me why i went to mango to return something and i ended up with yet another white dress this is a linen one this one was on sale um and oh, i really need a mirror asap so i thought this would be like a cute little dress to wear on a you know nice day what time is it about seven o'clock so i've kind of like been here been sitting here since like four four thirty just like doing email catching up on all my emails i just realized i had so many emails that i did not look through and i'm sure i have so many more that i haven't looked through so guys leave me your comments um i don't know i think perhaps by the time this vlog go up the that video would have been up already but I am not sure. But yeah, I am collecting questions because I'm gonna do this cool Q&A video. So yeah, ask me some questions that you've been wanting to know about. I think this is it for the night. I'm gonna call it a night. No more vlogging because it's about to be some intense work. I have like three PDFs of things to read. And then I just have to kind of like freak some things out for you guys, so.
lied when I said I was done vlogging for the night, but my food just arrived. This chicken sandwich from Seoul. Condesa, it's supposed to be Seoul food. They also have one in Woman up there, which is the one that I wanted to to go to or order from. Ooh, the sauce. Wow. I think this is like sesame. And look, it says crunchy chicken. Gracias. So cute. Oops. Oh, it does come with fries. Ah. I've been craving fries. Comes wrapped like this. So we're selling things. It looks good. This is what it looks like. And let's go in for the first bite. Wow, this is actually delicious. Mm. This is really good. Morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday is our shoot day. So. If you're on Woman Not There, you're probably gonna spot us because that's typically where we shoot. Because again, architecture, um, you know, the Upper East Side vibes that we love. Now we're having some breakfast at Butchers and Sons, um, which is right here in Orizaba. So it's number 87 before COVID. As you can see here, 87 BC. <laughs> So I'm having the French toast because I'm in the mood for something sweet and he said the French toast was really really good So I'm gonna have that and some orange juice because I already had a coffee um, Hey guys, the food is here, got the French toast, got maple Most places give you cereal meal, I mean honey I can't do honey with my, my French toast I cannot wait to go ham, this looks divine and it looks like they sprinkle some cinnamon over it Let's get the chilaculas. That looks so good. Now we're gonna go eat. Hello guys. Good afternoon. Wow, my glasses was like all the way messed up. Nobody told me. But I know me in black. Shocker. This is the first look that I shot today, so I thought I'll pop it on. Today is a little bit cold to be quite honest. I could even wear a lead jacket if I needed to. So leave your bag. I am meeting one of the guys that I met the other day. She's gonna take me around kind of like you know show me around I, I don't even remember what we're doing actually let me let me look at the message you see I don't even be paying attention so okay I'm gonna drive us downtown so I could visit Torre Latino and uh, we could eat in this cool restaurant with an amazing view in front of the Bella Zart. Um, okay, sounds Hello good. Hello, guys, we were exploring Faculdad de Derecho. Seoul. Seoul? Seoul. Okay. <laughs> we are at Unam. the. Unam. Unam. We are at the university. Look around. So nice. Serge is taking me around and showing me this place it looks so nice and so chill over here it's such a nice place to come and and see Hi guys this is the what is the architecture faculty over here as you can see we've got some statues and we've got some cool things over here all right guys i guess late lunch early dinner at Poseco. we are in the oasis Goyacan mall and it's really nice over here and Look at this tomato action happening here. So nice. Okay guys, octopus is here and this looks so yummy. Oh, 
and I love that they just like served you which is really really nice so you don't have to kind of like struggle in trying to figure out <laughs> like how much am I eating that just like saves you the time because they just serve you <laughs> which is really nice <laughs> alright guys finally found some margarita pizza without the wheel tomatoes on top so it turns out keyword is salsa tomate so ask for the one with the sauce, not the wheel <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> oh, this is so delish. So now you know, if you're ordering pizza, margarita, and you want it without the wheel tomatoes, ask for the one with the sauce. You're welcome. Okay guys, first time at the movies. What is the movie again? Cinemax. Uh, we're at Cinemax, and then we're watching uh, uh, escape room number two. Uh, focus, there you go. I haven't watched number one. I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be same as number two. 